Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japan, I'm going to be talking to you about what I won't miss about living here in America. Coming up. All right, now we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japan. Today's episode, guys, is going to be a follow up to my previous episode. I'm going to be talking to you about things that I won't miss about living here in America once I move back to Tokyo, Japan at the end of the year, 2019. Woo. So, that said, let's get right into it. And the first thing that I won't miss about living here in America is the rude individualist behavior that I see a lot of here. Your mileage may vary depending on where in America you live. If you live in a small town versus a big city in one state over another. Uh, there's a lot of variance as far as that goes.、Uh, yeah, I definitely won't miss the kind of rude, upfront directness, kind of the bluntness that comes with living here in America. It's definitely something that I can't really explain properly. It's one of those things you kind of have to experience, you know, living abroad. And it's one of those things that I noticed when I came back to the States. And it's just kind of like, was everybody like this before? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> But、uh, it's definitely something that I won't miss、uh, living out in Japan. And so, the second thing that I won't miss about living here in America is having to drive to get pretty much anywhere here in the States. Don't get me wrong, I do love driving. You know, nothing like rolling the window down on a nice, cool, crisp day and just kind of cruising around, just doing whatever. But as far as having to drive to get anywhere, even just like the grocery store, it's definitely a big pain in the ass. And it's again another expense I have to worry about, you know, car insurance, gas. Uh, car maintenance, specifically, especially you know, if I have to drive to get to my job, which you know, is another reason why I like doing freelance work because I can just sit here and as long as I can get from my bed over there to my ass here in my seat, I'm good. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about missing work as far as that goes. But if I was working a more conventional job where I had to drive to work, I'd have to worry about You know, if my car's gonna make it, or if I get in an accident, or I gotta worry about traffic, and all this other shit. So I don't really have to worry about that, at least in a big city in Japan, because I can just take the trains, or I can ride my bike, or I can get like a motorcycle. You know, the traffic laws are a lot more lenient on motorcycles versus cars. You can kind of, you know, pass by cars if they're like in a stop area or whatever. And so the third thing that I won't miss about living in America is the Quite frankly, inadequate healthcare. Keep in mind, I am a US veteran, so I do have access to VA healthcare and stuff like that. So I'm kind of sort of taken care of a little bit, but at the same time, if something like really severe happens to me, I'm really worried that I won't be able to afford the expenses. And it's something, especially getting into my 30s, that I worry about. You know, when I was back in my 20s,、eh, I don't really care. You know, if I get a cough or something like that, I'll just. You know, walk it off for the day and then be fine the next day. But as I get older, it's definitely something I have to、uh, take note of. And so, the fourth and final thing that I won't miss about living in America when I move out to Japan is overall safety. Not gonna lie, if you guys have read the news about America in the past decade, decade plus, you know that there's a lot of crime and stuff that goes on here a lot of shootings, school shootings. A lot of gun related stuff, and also a lot of traffic accidents. And as I mentioned before, with healthcare, you know, there's a lot of things that could go wrong in the,、uh, in the old body that I have to be careful of. Yeah, just overall safety living out in Japan. The crime rate is a lot lower than it is in America. Crime does happen, it's not some kind of weird utopian society where no crime happens, but it's significantly lower, and especially as it comes to firearms. Virtually non existent. And so, question of the day if you've lived abroad, what are some things that you don't miss about living in your home country versus where you are now or where you were then? Leave them below in the comments, down below in the booby whoops. And with that said, guys, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.